listening to Zombie Watch on KTFZ with your host, Scavenger Bob. Good evening, fellow survivors of the zombie apocalypse. If you are hearing this message, not only are you alive, but you also have a functioning radio and are waiting for some insightful auditory ray of sunshine to lead you through the darkness of almost certain death by man-eating zombies. We're working on it. In the meantime, here's the latest news. The Vatican remains silent on the issue of whether or not we are witnessing the events predicted in the Book of Revelations. Either this issue is still too controversial to comment on at this time, or the infestation of the undead has overrun the heart of the Catholic religion. In either case, we don't have to listen to the Pope anymore. And now for today's zombie evasion tip. Contrary to last week's report, dazzling the entrance to your stronghold with bleach is not an effective repellent for the undead. We here at the studio apologize for this mistake, and ask that you please stop calling us with your complaints about dead loved ones. Thank you. So, wherever you are, stay concealed, stay fortified, and stay alive. The time is now 8 11. Okay. Whose turn is it? Um, it's my turn. Okay. I'll cover you. All right. All right. I spy with my little eye, <laughs> something that starts with. Feet! Cigarette butt. Damn it! What do you expect? You pick the same thing every time we do this. I think we need a new game. Well, I don't know what to play next. You've turned on all my other ideas. Maybe it's me. But a game called Which Astronaut Would You Fuck doesn't pique my interest. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. You can think of something. Look, it hurts to think, all right? I'm not feeling the greatest. Why, what's wrong? What's wrong? Did you really just ask me that? Uh -huh. I think my predicament should be pretty obvious to you by now, Max. I'm trapped in a Walmart filled with reanimated corpses of shallow consumers of America, which is bad enough in its own right, but to be trapped in a store I hate with you? I really don't know which is worse. So to answer your question, that would be the reason why I'm not dancing in the streets right about now. Christ must be some kind of idiot for coming here in the first place. Huh. I thought coming to Walmart was a good idea because of all the supplies they have here. I mean, where else can you find family-sized frozen meals and find Hannah Montana products at just one store? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Did she just pitch Walmart to me? Are you the public relations manager for Walmart or something? The public what? <laughs> no! <laughs> treated very respectfully, just like any other occupation. Really? How many times were you required to stay in after hours without overtime? Well, maybe a few times. Or maybe a few dozen, I don't remember exactly. Well, that's not too much to ask, is it? And ever see a raise from your unflinching dedication? Well, no, not really. But then again, I only worked there for six years. Jesus <laughs> Christ, are you some kind of masochist? A mess of what? Ew! No! Alright, look. The pay wasn't great. They made me work overtime, and I never really saw a raise. But Walmart is a fine company that offers bargain prices for the hard-working families of America. And I was proud to give back to my community. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, you can stop right there. Don't tell me for a minute that the corporate cocksuckers of Walmart keep their prices low of altruism. The pushers and the low prices are the drug. Once the consumer gets a taste, they've got them hooked. And they justify their bargains? by taking it out of the paycheck of suckers like you who do their shit work. And that goes double for the poor Chinese kids they get to make this shit. So think about that whenever you see a 12-pack of Hot Pocket for half off. All right, first of all, they are lean pockets, and they are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> your occupation allows you to look down at me so much. I mean, you never talk about yourself, Jackie Dare. You don't talk at all. Ow. You've been traveling this Walmart together for how long now? Too long. It's been over a month now! Why did you learn to make a month seem like a goddamn eternity? Will you just quit treating me like a stranger and just tell me a little bit about yourself? 
Fine, I was a bartender. Huh, okay, so just because you fed poison to a bunch of ass-groping loudmouths, that gives you the right to preach to me. That may have been my job description, but I was no corporate little bitch like you were. Little bitch. I made my own rules. I could say whatever I wanted to any douchebag. Too plastic to realize I was tearing him in, you asshole. Yeah. If you can get away with telling a Walmart shopper, fuck off! I have. And the moron still tipped me five bucks. <laughs> you know, for someone with such a low disposition towards Walmart, you have been here for over a month now. A month longer than I've ever spent at Walmart. You know what? You never told me what you were doing here in the first place, especially since you hate it so much. I was on a mission. Wow, for the government? What? Fuck the government, it was a personal mission. I was trying to save history. How? I was destroying every Jack Johnson CD and tape book DVD I could find. But how does that save history? So that when alien civilizations discover the charred remains of the human race, I won't be embarrassed. Okay, <laughs> motherfucker! Do we have quiet time now except to pretend you're not here? Hey, why are you always so hostile? You know, I'm in the same horrible situation that you're in, but I can still keep a smile on my face. Did you know that it takes more energy to frown than it does to smile? <laughs> Did you know that it takes more energy to point that out than it does to SHUT THE FUCK UP?! <laughs> Why can't you just cheer up like me? Because, Max, I'm not delusional and optimistic like you are. Besides, your best friend wasn't disemboweled by someone that should be six feet under. That'll have some kind of detrimental effect on anyone's psyche, including mine! So do you see what a smile has left my face?! I thought I was your best friend. <laughs> we just met a month ago. And I hate you! Do you think you're my best friend? Alright, that may be your viewing of the situation. But I feel like we've bonded in the past few weeks. You think you can replace Ben, asshole? Yep. Ben was my best man at my wedding. Helped me get my stuff back from the divorce. Made me quit drinking. Convinced a girl at a party to take my virginity when I was only 22. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell have you done for, my, for me besides make bullshit conversation and watch my friend die? Well, there was that one time... That's what I thought. Hey, I thought you said you quit drinking. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I guarantee you, if my AA sponsor is still alive, He'd be sitting in a jacuzzi, filled with vodka right about now, and he'd be right to do so. Alright, well, I'm just saying... Well, don't fucking yeah, say it! Okay, can you make just a little bit more effort to appreciate my company? First of all, no. <laughs> Second, what's to appreciate? What about all the sound advice I've been giving you? I already knew how to use a microwave. I'm a divorcee, you remember that? <laughs> no, not that. I'm talking about my spiritual advice. I'm sorry, I don't recall you ever giving me any spiritual advice. Probably because I was too busy laughing my ass off at the idea of you being my spiritual advisor. Huh. You don't think I'm knowledgeable about the word of God? Need I remind you, I was an altar boy for a day and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how much you think you know about the Bible. The idea of you giving me advice on anything is so hilarious. It should be on prime time. Well, what's so funny about it? I mean, the good book helped me out in trouble times. Why shouldn't it help you out now? I've actually read the Bible and tend to see it more for its entertainment value than its informative. That blood story is especially hilarious. Jack, why can't you just open up your heart? <laughs> and what? Pretend that the plot is less than 20,000 years old and started with a talking snake and a tree? Yeah. I've got a better idea. How about we both pretend that's bullshit? Oh! I picked your Bible! <laughs> First of all, you don't have to have enough faith to believe every word of the Bible. But its core values remain if you're open to it. You have so much faith. Why don't we walk out this door amongst a sea of undead retail junkies? Surely your God will protect you. God doesn't work that way, silly. Oh, of course he doesn't. <laughs> you religious freaks are so hypocritical. What? Whenever you're faced with uncertainty and death, you act like you're getting no support from the Almighty and say things like, The Lord works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Whenever you narrowly escape danger, you act like there's some kind of guardian angel keeping a watchful eye on your well-being. But where exactly does your God stand? Because it seems to me that he's a bit of a flip-flopper. God has a plan. Oh, yeah? When does the safe little Max from the monsters part of the plan take effect? He loves you, doesn't he? Yeah? <coughs> well, well, anyway, look, none of that matters. Even you can see the religious phenomenon unfolding before your very eyes. Am I missing something, Mr. Ice Pie? Uh, we're surrounded by zombies? The same word, God! Damn it! Sorry! Sorry. Anyway, the fact that the dead are rising from the grave is nothing short of the end of times. Just as
as is written, nay, predicted in the book of Revelations. Okay. Whatever you're doing right now, just, just quit while you're ahead. You fundamentalist wackos have been saying that kind of stuff every time some sort of disaster like this has taken place. The, the, the Black Plague, uh, the, the 94 earthquakes, Y2K, what, how many times are you psychos going to cry wolf? All right, look, if you claim to know so much about what's going on, what do, you, what do your precious scientists say about it? You really should listen to the radio more often. Why? They explained the whole thing about a week ago! <laughs> Bunch of scientific secular mumbo-jumbo. For fuck's sake, didn't you ever pick up a textbook in your life? I don't read anything that goes against my beliefs. Way to branch out. You mean to tell me that you'll deny all the hard work and dedication scientists all over the world have put in to better understand the world around us in favor of a book written 2,000 years ago and has no relevance or understanding in a civilized society? Uh, yeah. I don't compromise what I believe. Not even in the face of facts. All right, look, there's no way for us to know anything for sure. The Bible has all the explanation I need, and it should be enough for you, too. Oh! Okay! How does it explain fossils? Um, fossils, fossils, fossils. I don't believe in fossils. <laughs> Bravo, sir! Bravo, fucking oh! It only took you four seconds to come up with a stupid <laughs> argument that time. So if it doesn't fall into your scheme of beliefs, just forget that it's real, right? You know, I bet if they sold fossils at Walmart, you would be okay with it. You're still wrong about my religion, but you leave Walmart out of this! <laughs> if you know so much about what's going on, what are your precious scientists to say about this? Stuff? The Z words. Lay it out for me, Mr. Scientist. <laughs> it's a man-made virus that escaped the testing ground in Nevada and spread throughout the world in a matter of weeks. The virus causes instantaneous death, followed by reanimation, leaving the brain with very little motor skills, memory, and instinct. Are you following me so far? Or should I talk slower so your little brain can catch up? No, I'm following fine things. You have to be so condescending. But what does all that mean? <laughs> it means that those corpses out there waiting to eat us are the last remnants of the Bargain Jumps culture. And seeing as how Walmart dwellers never had a brain to begin with, turning into shuffling flesh eaters hasn't caused much of a departure from their usual half tart personality. Only difference now is that their credit reports are probably a lot better. I figured the undead would be easy to avoid as long as I stayed out of sight in here. But if I'd known that even after turning into living dead, they'd still flock for nine hours at a time? I never would have showed up at Walmart in the first place. You know, I bet if we hit ourselves in the library, we'd be sitting pretty right now. <laughs> Wait a second. If that's true about the virus and the rate of infection, then what if we wind up the only two people left on the planet? Oh, Jesus. I know! <laughs> Scary concept, right? But you gotta think about the future of mankind. I know. That's why Dane Cook has to die! No, not that! <laughs> I'm talking about the future of the human race. Look, you and I might have to start repopulating the planet together once all these zombies die out. So I think it's best to- Whoa! Sorry, Whoa! sorry, sorry! I promise no, I wouldn't use the Z word! No! We just said before that! Oh, I spied a cigarette button, you guessed it right. No, oh, goddammit! We was all that about repopulating Earth! Oh, <laughs> what are we supposed to do with the fate of humanity when it's in our hands? Throw it aside because you can't get along with me? What kind of fuckhead am I stuck in Walmart with? <laughs> Don't you know anything about human reproduction at all? Of course. You need two people to make a baby. Just like in that flood story, now who's relying on the Bible? Ka-chow! <laughs> yeah? One male. And one or more females. So you see why this cannot work. All right, obviously we'll have to improvise. Improvise what? <laughs> improvise what? Don't you know anything about you know we need sperm and egg, right? Oh, yeah. Brian and I can whip up a fresh batch of sperm in the next five minutes. Yeah. Where the hell is the egg going to come from? You want to run down to the grocery store and grab a dozen chicken eggs? I think they'd be rotten by now. <laughs> what about gestation? What about just, just a while? Gestation! What the hell is it going to gestate, a bunch? You want to put it in a liquor bottle? Oh, that'll keep it preserved. All right, will it even fit in a liquor bottle? Be reasonable. You cannot be this stupid. We're not going to conceive the human race in between our legs. So shut up and let me forget about this conversation. But we can't <laughs> let planet Earth forget about us and just stand idly by while the human race fades into nothingness. We have to at least try. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sleep.
sleep with me. <laughs> what? This is about sex. This is about survival. I'm not a sleaze. You are. That's the only explanation for your little pitch. Why else would you have such a ridiculous notion of conceiving a child with me and suggest that it's for the good of mankind? Christ, how did I not see this coming? All right, now what is that supposed to mean? Oh, come on! I caught you checking out my ass as we first barricaded ourselves down here. <laughs> what about that game you invented called, Guess What's In Your Mouth? I knew that wasn't your thumb, you sick fuck! <laughs> you guessed wrong, I'm just gonna move on. I can't believe this! You're trying to train horse me to your bed! I am trying to save you, Manny, by repopping the planet. I don't understand why I have to be so selfish and insecure about the whole thing. I'm done talking to you, faggot. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Okay. I understand. Oh, fuck! I've had enough of your conclusions. You're in the closet. <laughs> Come from? Oh, I've learned enough about you in our time here to know exactly how you operate. Oh, you are so uncomfortable about your own sexual orientation. <laughs> they created a false sense of who you are by burying your true homosexual <laughs> desires. By covering up with the firm hatred of those who share your own sexual orientation. When the hell did God's little helper become an expert on homosexuality? I was an altar boy, remember? <laughs> Stay with me proves beyond any doubt in my mind that you are hiding your true homosexual desires. What the fuck are you suggesting? If you don't sleep with me, then you're definitely gay. <laughs> you actually suggesting if I don't get physically aroused by your naked, scrawny body and have homosexual intercourse with you, that I am, in fact, a homosexual. Is that the gist of what you're implying? <laughs> no, I'm not implying it. I am flat out telling you who you are, because you obviously have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, that's it. From now on, Ow. this is my side of the room. Got it? You cross this line. sitting uselessly on your neck. No, you yelled your point loud enough. Thanks. Good! Now shut the fuck up and let me have a headache in peace for once. Bye! in a cup for all I care, but you are not coming over to my side! Jack, no! You're <laughs> like that. I am like that. You made me like that. So if you cross this line, in the holy name of Bill Murray, I will cut you in two! Come on, you're not going to do anything. I'm going to pee. All right, come on, Jack. Just let me pee. Max, this is a long time coming. What is? <laughs> Jack, be reasonable. Think about all the good times we've had. Remember how much I mean to you? Jack, I just peed a little. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Get ready for your land. Seriously, Jack, do you really think you can murder your... You, you, you really think you can limit yourself into murdering me? I'm not murdering you. I'm euthanizing you! You're too stupid to exist! Ha! You can't assist suicide if I don't want to die! Your, uh, your head is probably so underdeveloped. It resembles that of fetus. This is a murder. This is a very late term abortion. Won't be me, motherfucker! <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> what now, mother effer? <laughs> what now? What now is you're still dead and dumber than I thought. What's dumb about trying to save Betty by repopping the planet? I don't, if you were to stop being insecure about your Stop calling me gay! Then fuck me! All scream rage! <laughs> you no piece of shit! I, I you fucking so hate much. you! I have been to you in time here. You've never I been to fuck you, me. Andre. I can't you stand you! When you the were first time ever! And you fucking look at your ass! I hate I you! I did a thought for you! You were in Titanic when you were sleeping! Shut the fuck up! You don't even care! I made you a friendship! I'm gonna fuck you! I'm gonna fuck you! I'm gonna fuck you! Between the I haven't told you. Oh, I'm still over. Oh, I'm still.
survivors in the most likely safe houses. And you decided to check out Walmart. Well, of course. Where else can you find family size frozen meals and fine Hannah Montana products all at one store? <laughs> See, that's what I said! Oh, great. I've got marketing in stereo. Look, there are more survivors like you. They're all safe in a... just outside of town. For some reason, there's not too many hostiles in that area. Let me guess. They're hiding out in a library. <laughs> How'd you know that? <laughs> uh, something in your voice gave it away. I don't know. All right. Well, once we're finished with the cleanup here, we'll take you to live the safe house, the safe house, and transport transport you from there to the car in Washington. I'm going to assist in the cleanup here. Neither one of you move or fight until I return. Is that understood? Yeah. Yes. Yes. The rescue team. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. I'll pick that up later. <laughs> yes! Well, that's just fucking grand. Oh my god, how can you be so down when we've just been rescued? Yeah, by the government. The same people responsible for this whole mess. Okay, doesn't the fact that they're coming to our rescue clearly show a change in their motives? Humans don't change. The only good thing to come out of this whole outbreak was that everything evil was supposed to be destroyed by the undead holocaust. I mean, isn't that how karma works? As soon as the government reassumes control, it's gonna be shopping malls, Starbucks, and Walmarts all over again. Mediocre culture always prevails. That's the only reason they're staying in Washington. Not to keep us safe, to keep us under fucking control. So don't ask me to put on a smiley face and pretend like everything's gonna be okay, cause it's not! Why do you always have to see the worst in every situation? Well, maybe if I haven't had to deal with for so long, I'd see things as ridiculously upbeat as you'd. trying to use me as your fuck doll. All right, look, even if that is what I was doing, which it's not, I still think you overreacted, and you hurt my feelings, and I want an apology. Whoa, whoa, you hear everything I said? You out there to suicide! Oh 
Well, my only other option is to stay here with the dumb dumb twins and relive a month's worth of hell? No fucking thank you! I think I'll take my chances with the zombies! You said the Z word! Is there anything about what you said? Do I look or sound like I give a fuck anymore? Uh, this is it! I'm not playing anymore! Hey, sir. You can't hey. just say good fucking day. <laughs> I guess it's just the two of us now. <laughs> well, I guess it's just the two of us now. <laughs> yeah. Look, I know this is going to be difficult for you to understand or hear, really, but uh, it's very possible that you and I are going to be the remaining survivors. Max, I think we're going to have to repopulate the Earth. Yeah? <laughs>